वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू डेली डिस्पैच शो दैट गिव यू ऑल द लेटेस्ट न्यूज एंड अपडेट फ्रॉम द डिजिटल इको सिस्टम आई एम प्रिया शेख थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर लॉगिंग इन टाइम नाउ टू गेट यू ऑल द टॉप न्यूज स्टोरीज दैट वीव बीन ट्रैकिंग फॉर यू दिस इवनिंग Well, first up, Zomato has approached the Competition Commission of India, that's the CCI, to acquire 9.3% stake in e-grocery startup Grofers. This acquisition will strengthen Zomato's position in the online grocery market. Now, reports are suggesting that as part of this deal, Zomato, as well as existing investor Tiger Global, will invest around $120 million in the grocery startup. Now, this makes Grofers a unicorn with a valuation of above $1 billion. in dollars moving on to the second headline of the day india's leading e-commerce marketplace flipkart has launched shopsy an app that will enable indians to start their online businesses without any investments now users can simply register on the shopsy app using their phone numbers as well as set up their business without any hassle of investment inventory or logistics management now users can also share catalogs with potential customers via popular social media as well as messaging apps place orders on their behalf as well as earn commissions on the transactions well enterprise ai platform for commerce hypersonics has closed a 35 million dollar series b funding round at a valuation of 200 million dollars the investment was led by existing investor b capital group now the company has raised over 50 million dollars in capital so far and the Latest financing more than quadruples the valuation of its Series A round in March 2020. Moving on to the final headline of the day, reports suggest that Canadian billionaire Prem Bhatsa-backed general insurance startup Digit is raising $200 million from new investors, Sequoia Capital India, as well as IIFL Alternate Asset Managers, as well as existing investors, Faring Capital, and others in a round expected to double its valuation to $3.5 billion in less. than 6 months. Then moving on to our second segment, I have with me someone who has made a mark in the fitness space. I have with me Afsar Zaidi from HRX. Thank you very much Afsar for joining us today on the Daily Dispatch. I want to begin by asking you about the HRX products that have been available on the Cult uh, website as of now and on the Cult app. Or uh, what has been the kind of growth that you've seen over the last couple of months? Thank you Priya for inviting and taking some time out to understand the the keep going journey of hrx um so uh it's i'll take a couple of minutes to just establish the background of this young nascent upcoming uh, uh fruit of labor and hard work of ours called hrx so we um today we are uh, in the space where we are available on mintra flipkart uh across various products we offer various products we have a very uh, intimate uh, uh, investor relationship with kyofit which has been renamed as cultfit uh, it all started with uh, the core the kernel of uh, hrx which is rithik roshan he uh, gave us the wings to fly because uh, it, it was it was a dream it was a thought that he shared with us and uh, he decided to allow us to use his learnings his uh, approach to life his ways his methods and give it a physical manifestation which is hrx and hence the tagline the taglines are also very very close to what he implements in his uh, uh daily vocation which is acting and his approach to life which is push your extreme keep going uh these are the things that we uh we attach we have attached to the brand and we are working on this uh this has become the the go you know it's like um, the way we approach and we look at hrx the taglines give us the energy give us the inspiration give us the motivation on a daily basis it's about keep going and keep doing things on a regular basis um coming back to your question on the products we are uh, in the apparel space apparel fitwear uh, footwear the entire athleisure space has been uh, is being covered it's offered on the mintra platform with flipkart we have the audio range and we just launched the sports and fitness equipment category uh, with 
cult, we have a very interesting uh, uh, space where we offer the HRX workouts. So that's also an extension of how the ideology, the philosophy of HRX can be a part of uh, a physical form of exercise and work for the HRX consumers. Over the last year, uh, considering that there are a lot of stay-at-home workouts that are happening, which categories of yours have done well? And what's been the kind of growth that you've seen in these categories as compared to your overall portfolio? See, what happened uh, last year with the pandemic descending upon this uh, uh, upon upon this world and we all going into lockdown uh, since we were all cocooned in our uh, respective homes and what happened is that all of us became uh, athletes it's like we all became an everyday athlete and uh, coincidentally hrx being in the athleisure space it became one of the most sought after products so the tracks the tees uh, became a became a very very necessary part and that's those are the products that really saw a, a significant increase uh, in the sales and the way the consumers started uh, buying these products uh, the third particular category was the footwear because i think uh, fitness became an important aspect of all our lives. So whether it was for a regular walk or a run, I think the track t-shirt and footwear became an ensemble that everyone wanted to uh, purchase. So these are the three specific categories where we did see a significant increase. What kind of growth are you seeing on a month-on-month basis? Uh, And going forward, what are the kind of strategies that you have in terms of expansion, diversification? See, uh, last year, we were supposed to, uh, the apparel, footwear and the accessories, uh, the apparel and footwear saw a significant jump. We, any which ways, had the plan, had plans to launch the sports and fitness equipment category last year. But the, due to multiple constraints, we couldn't uh, really offer those products last year. And now, a month back, we launched after having all our partners, vendors, manufacturers in place. So this was a new category because work at home, work, work out at home, it requires certain in certain necessary products. And that's what we have offered. And be it the yoga mats, be it uh, the barbells, disc plates, we have started and these are available on Flipkart. Uh, going forward, are you looking at further diversifying uh, over the next two to three years? What's the kind of roadmap that you've outlined for HRX? So where do you see the company growing over the next two to three years? So we have some very uh, uh, interesting uh, partnerships, tie-ups in place. It's been, a, as a team, we always believe that we have to keep coming up with newer things. Uh, this is a plan that we had established years back and we're working to the plan it the several factors contribute to it uh, the first launch this year was the sports and fitness equipment in the next couple of months uh, we are going to be announcing a very interesting uh, partnership with a leading indian brand in the fitness uh, technology space uh, so that is that we believe will propel us into a very interesting uh, uh, space because just like how we did the audio equipment launch on Flipkart uh, last year, this year it's going to be an extension where we are calling it, uh, I'm not very sure if I I can share the product space yet, but uh, in the technology space with this leading Indian brand, that's our uh, current focus and goal to make that... uh, launch really, really effective and successful. Final question on revenues. Uh, what kind of revenues do you have as of now? And by the end of FY22, what kind of revenue targets do you have? See, HRX, uh, in the apparel and footwear space with Mintra, we have crossed the 500 pro turnover mark. Uh, in the various other categories, we have the audio range, we are still a year old. Sports and fitness is new. Uh, so the apparel, accessories, footwear, HRX is a 500 pro plus turnover. Uh, 
as we progress, we are anticipating uh, in this year, we have a big sale coming up uh, with Mintra, the EURS sale, sale which starts this weekend. So we are anticipating uh, a, a growth, hopefully, which should be upwards of 60% in this year. A final question on fundraise. Are you looking at some fundraise for expansion? Uh, and uh, will you be also looking at manufacturing in-house? Or are you looking at more of third party? Priya, HRX as a brand has been set up in a very unique and innovative uh, model. Uh, what? So the brand is owned by Rithik Roshan and Exceed. Uh, he is... What we have done is we have bifurcated our... Uh, licenses and partnerships with multiple uh, companies. We believe in uh, providing the necessary creative marketing, uh, brand direction, the architecture story to the brand. But the, the, the specialists are the ones responsible for taking care of the, the manufacturing, the design element. So it's not that, and why I'm uh, taking a few more minutes and elaborating on the structure because such a brand doesn't exist within the Indian corporate scenario. So now that you've given me the platform, I want to elaborate and explain it a bit more uh, uh, clearly and specifically. So Mintra is our partner uh, in, in the apparel, fashion, footwear, accessories space. We have given licenses for the audio range and the sports and fitness equipment to Flipkart uh, we are tying up with an Indian brand in the technology uh, fitness space. We are founding investors in CultFit. So as a brand, we don't look at raising funds, but we are really hungry. Uh, we, have, uh, we have the drive, the hunger, the ambition to partner with as many like-minded uh, companies to build and create newer categories for our brand. So instead of fundraise, what we are always on the lookout for are partners who, with whom we can synergize and we have a common uh, approach to the ideology and philosophy of HRX. All right. On that note, many thanks for joining us today. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you for your time and uh, all the very best for your journey ahead. Wish you all the best, uh, Priya. Thank you very much for having me. Well, with that, it's a wrap on this edition of The Daily Dispatch. I'll catch you on Monday at 5pm. Goodbye and have a lovely weekend.